All right. Oh, Gary, I have a surprise for you. I, I don't know when I can call her. Some girl called in and said she dated you. She heard you were getting married and wanted to call in or something. I don't, I don't One know. One of old girlfriends? Oh, really? Or something like that. She, she, I didn't get, get the impression she was a girlfriend, but she went out with Gary one night. A couple of got, times. She said she got drunk with him or something. Oh. I don't know. If you want to talk to her. I don't know. It sounded You didn't get around to calling everybody in your little black no, book and tell No, I'll have to check it out. <laughs> I just figured they'd all hear it on the radio. Yeah, right. Let me call the girl. I just want to I want to hear her story how Gary had sex with her. Oh, he did? Well, that's you what she You know that for a fact? Well, that's what she said. I don't know if it's a fact. <laughs> Let me get her on the air. She said she didn't want her name on the air. I think... Well, would you want that on there? <laughs> if you had slept with Gary? Can I see the name? She, doesn't, she won't give us her name. Uh -huh. Hello? Hi. I know you don't want your name on the air, but it's Howard Stern calling, and we're on the air. Are you the girl who called yesterday? Yes, I am. Oh, good. Hold on. Hi. Are you the girl who called yesterday? Yes, I am. All right, so what's this uh, story on Gary that uh, you... You heard Gary was getting married. Let me just see what I know about this. You heard Gar Gary's here, by the way. He's back from California. Mm-hmm. You knew Gary. Baba Bowie. How many years ago? Mm, about five years ago. And you met him at a bar? Yes. And you heard he was getting married and you decided to call in to congratulate him, I guess. Uh... Did you have sex with Gary? Well, wait a second. Don't answer that. <laughs> you recognize her? No. No. No, but, you know. But it's possible. <laughs> All right, let me get <laughs> There were some years there, Howard. <laughs> I'm always curious to see what Gary's up to behind my back. Right. Well. So, you, did you know he was Gary from our show? I'm sure you did. That's the only reason you would sleep with him. <laughs> when, did you met him in a bar and you saw him sitting there and you recognized him from our show? All right. We, we met at Hands. It was about five years ago, and, um... Which one? Pardon me? Which hula hands? Which hula hands were you at? In the city. And, um, we started talking, and we were talking for a real long time. And, um, I had a car, and, um, one thing led to another, and I said, well, I can give you a ride back to his home, and that was in Long Island. Because I was living there too, mm -hmm. and it um, it was a hot night. And what do you look like? Are you a good-looking girl? Well, I guess that would you have to ask a fellow that. I guess I'm considered good-looking. I'm about five foot three. Mm -hmm. I have brown eyes, and what's your measurement? I'm not giving you my measurements. All right. What's your cup size? You know, when you wear a bra. If he, she gives her measurements, everybody will know who it is. <laughs> <Right>. I guess. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, go ahead. So, you, so you, you were looking for a guy, right? Well, we we talked for a long time, and right. we just seemed to really hit it off. Right. All right. So, you, But you knew who he was. You knew he was from our show. Yeah, he told me that. Right. Mm -hmm. How far I, into I, the conversation? I just fear that this is one of those uh, one of those Gary imitators. Well, you know who Gary is, right? I mean, was it a Gary imitator or was it Gary? No, I mean, it was you, Gary. I'm saying, how did you know? Have you seen Gary on the TV show? Uh, well, yeah. Is it the same Gary? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Go ahead. Um, so you go to his place. No, that didn't happen. Oh. Uh, we didn't quite make it to his house. Um, you smooth operated, Gary. <laughs> I, I'm doubting the validity of the story because I don't ever remember being at Hula Hands in Manhattan, but... This, you know, could have, could have happened five years ago. I All mean, right. give a few more details. Okay. All right, yeah, what happened after that? Well, um... How I'm, flattered is Gary that there are Gary yeah, imitators? It, right, not only Gary imitators, but there are women he can't remember. Yeah. That no, no, no. With. That shouldn't be happening. <laughs> no, no, that, See, I remember every woman I slept with. Can I just tell you something? There was yeah. a woman that called me here once. This happened about four years ago. Mm -hmm. And... She said, remember, I met you at a party on Saturday night. But it was a Gary And I, I kept insisting that it wasn't me. And it became, as the conversation went on and on, it became very apparent. She met some guy at a party, and she definitely slept with him. And I felt really bad because she was, like, angry at me that I was blowing her off. Right. Well, you don't seem so thrilled with this incident with Gary. Well. well all right, tell me what happened. You're in the, uh, 
She doesn't sound like a woman in love. <laughs> so, you, so you're in a car with Gary, yeah. Right, and so it was a hot night, and um, so I, one thing led to another, and I invited him to my parents' home who has a pool. Right. And we went for a dip in the pool, and is... um, after we went for a dip in the pool, I told him where the showers were, and um, he got carried away. Um, oh, I yeah? Guess. He did you? All right, Gary. Right there by the pool? Well, I would call it date rape, but back then, <gasps> oh, dear. he wouldn't. It wasn't called date rape. Now, aren't you a little embarrassed to be telling this lie? Because you know that this isn't true. I mean, I just never was with any... What do you mean date rape? Pool. I know Gary, you wouldn't date rape. So how did he date rape you? It sounds like you wanted it. No. Yeah, this is... See, this just never happened. There I mean, were there were bathing suits there. Well, say something. Tell me something that would prove, you know, you're being very vague, right? Well, now. first of all, she's saying it was date rape. I don't know this is something. You guys were swimming, and then what happened? And then I told him where the showers were. Yeah, and then what were you wearing, a bathing suit? We both had bathing suits on because yeah. there were extra suits there. There were always extra suits around for people that came that were guests of my parents and would like to go for a dip in the pool, and there were always extra suits around. So you're in the pool kissing and stuff? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, well, how does Gary date rape you? Well, I, I have to go through the details. Well, not the detail, but I mean, what do you consider date rape? I mean, you're making out, and then all of a sudden, what does Gary do? Well, we had been drinking before we had left, and and then we were drinking while we were in the pool, and um, I guess <laughs> he had a little too much to drink. Right. And um, this is just so bad, Howard, because it's just not true, and I need to defend myself somehow. Just I'm just trying to see how you date yeah, rape. Okay. You're yeah. drinking and you're in the pool. Yeah. Get to the date rape. Yeah, I don't. I'm not even sure this is date yeah, rape. I don't understand. Then we'll figure out the. Vote I mean, I, you know, I know Gary is a pretty honorable guy. Yeah, I don't think he. I have no doubt that Gary would never do this. Robin and I have had these discussions. You claiming that Gary forced you? Let's let's say that he would not take no for an answer. Nah. Gary, you brute. Nah. Okay, now, well, well, well <laughs> Gary, why don't you do say that. something that would prove that I would know you? But what do you mean he wouldn't take no for an answer? Come on, get me off the hook, man. Well, well, I'm just trying to understand that. What do you mean no for an answer? You said no to him when he wanted to go further? Yes. And he just insisted and became very rough. Oh, did I pin you down? Yes, you did. Oh. oh please. Gary, come on. You well, pinned her down? No. Of course not. I don't know who this is. And she knows that. I don't know who she is. Did he insist that you drink more? No, he didn't want me to drink more. He just wanted his way. You mean you said, from that moment on? So the, And then and then what, what did he do? Like he forced your legs apart? No wonder she doesn't like the idea that you're getting married. Can you, just, oh, can you please goodness. just do me a favor now and, right. and just like let's sort of check the validity of this? Because uh, how do you check the validity? Well, to, how could she prove it? I mean, right now her story is of no. Of course, Gary, I can't prove it. Right? right. No, no. I mean, I'm not even talking about the date. How can do you, you even have prove the bathing suit you? with the semen stains on it? But how can you even prove that I know you? Do you or still have the bathing suit? The only reason that I was calling at this point was because, and I. I was going to call. I wasn't going to call. I didn't know what to do because I understand that Gary is engaged. Right. And if I was engaged to someone, I would <laughs> want to know if there were any gray areas in that person. So why don't you tell us something that proves that you absolutely know me, something that you would know about me. Robin, what do you make of this? Something that I told you. Well, about. I, you know... Where did I they live? They were drinking. Gary's, what is Gary's like the David Cohn of the yeah, show. Yeah, I was going to say simple, very simple. Well, David Cohn was an accused of rape. How did I, how did I get home? After, you gave me a lift and you were going to drive me home, right? right. How, how did I get home? Yeah, and how big exactly are Gary's teeth if, okay. you, if it's the real Gary? <laughs> how did I get home from your... Yeah, how did he get home from your house? And was that the weapon he used? Gary, are you kidding? I drove you home after that. To where? You've got to be kidding. To where? We, I never where? got. I never drove you to your house because we never got there. I drove you to my parents. And then what happened after that? How did I get home? I don't know, Gary. You left. Oh, I just left. Yes. See, this is. Not only that, the, the whole point of it was that there was never an apology or anything like that. And did he I, call? I, this is no. How would you, no, you had apologize? No, he did not. no, I want. I want no. you, to, Howard. I want you to help me disprove this. He never called again. He never apologized. Nothing. And he knew now where I lived because he was there at my parents'. Wow. Oh, well, I've ne man. Can I just say, I've never been to Houlihan's in Manhattan.
Right. I've never been in a pool on Long Island because it's one of my fantasies. Right. And I've just never done it. It's a hard thing to prove, Gary. Yeah, what would we, what what we do expect it? you to right. say? But well, know. why don't you ask her? I don't know how I feel about you right now. Oh, come on. Gary, what's this going on This girl doesn't here? sound like a girl who's joking around. All right, this sounds like a very serious girl. <laughs> right. Can I go see Gary, can I ask you a question? Can I see the phone number? No, can I ask you a question? No, can I ask you a question? I spell April Fool's question? joke, yes. What day is today? April Fool's. Yeah, April Fool's. Oh, come on, Logan. Uh, go on. This is one of J Nancy's uh, <laughs> actress friends, Carol. It's our April Fool's joke. <laughs> I'm like, I'm one of many. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, he was sweating bullets. I know, he looked over. Get me out of this. Carol? <laughs> yeah. You did it again. Uh, uh, remember, you remember Carol? Right, and, yes. What was the last joke that Carol pulled? She, uh, she raped you. She, <laughs> she came in to rape you under the thing, and she got you under the console, and all your clothes started flying. <laughs> right. And Robin right. thought you Right, her were clothes and your clothes started flying out. That was an April Fool's joke. Carol helped us with that one. Right. This time we did it to Gary. <laughs> Gary, the first, time, the first time we did an April Fool's joke was on Robin, where I, I you know, usually girls come in and massage me and stuff, right. and all of a sudden I started screaming rape. <laughs> And that she had just attacked me, and Robin got panicked and came running in and started screaming. I ran screaming. in, and they were both under there completely dressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, last, yesterday we said, well, what can we do? We said, yeah, let's uh, falsely accuse Gary of rape. <laughs> oh, <laughs> See how he reacts. Yeah, that's really funny. Yeah. Well, they didn't tell me about it. I figured it out halfway in that, yeah. oh, maybe I should go along with this because we were trying to fool Gary. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did good. I'm uh, sorry, Gary. No, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> and it's always the same theme with uh, Carol. Rape, <laughs> rape real fool. Yeah. <laughs> you did good, Carol. Oh, well, thank and you. And Carol's an actress. It's William Kennedy, Baba Booey. <laughs> what is it, Gary? Well, I just handed a note. There's a guy on the phone who resembles me and says he's gone to bed with women on the premise that he works with Howard. Yeah, there you go. Want to talk to him? Uh, yeah, all right. I'll talk to him. All right. Thanks, Carol. All right. All right. Have bye -bye. fun. Bye-bye. That's Carol. Let me take a break for spots. <laughs> hey, April feel, Fools, Gary. Gary. Thanks, man. We yanked you as soon as you got back from yeah. California. Yeah, that's okay. I was getting nervous. And you came in right Baba on cue. Uh, like I said, I lined up Carol for 7 o'clock. Yeah. Because I figured, ah, eh, Gary will get here by 7. Hopefully, he'll take the red eye and get over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was getting nervous when he didn't show up. Wow. I was getting, you know... Because, you know, people could just, someone could just call in and say yeah, that. Well, that's, that was to prove a point. <laughs> Gary looked like he had really lost it when I was like, well, wow, Gary, she doesn't sound like she's full. Yeah, yeah, that was good. <laughs> well, you know, she said she met me in a bar and she gave me a lift home to Long Island. And right. that happened once or twice. <laughs> yeah, and we were trying to come up with a plausible story. You know, Fred, Fred got the, the part of the story out of Penthouse Forum where they go to the pool. Right. And I knew that Gary that's wouldn't pull to the pool. Right. Too, Do you want to know something? He was buying it big time. I think he would have bought a back of the, the car. The, no, the pool part, the pool part ended it. The pool right. part ended it, but he was still going like wait a minute there's still this possible how do i get no no, no. Now, he was just worried how he's going to get out of this you know what was, funny? was i ever that drunk that i'd forget a pool yeah and how's he going to yeah. prove his innocence what was funny right. was while the story was going on he was going no no no, no. what no, 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 no. She said something that could happen <laughs> guy goes where did i meet you and then we said i you know we, we we'd come up with hula hands yesterday in the office so, and gary goes i never went to hula hands and he's like Okay. I was, and then all of a sudden I was there like once, but it was yeah. not like five years ago. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, maybe I had been there. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> well, there's your April Fool's joke. The April Fool's joke is on you. Oh, can I get married now? <laughs> you can go get married. Girlfriend called up and just canceled the wedding. <laughs>